whole season. <clears throat> it's upon us. It's here. We're ready. I'm ready. But are you ready? Because I know we're all anxiously whining about too many bowl games or we're whining about expanding the playoff to eight teams or something like that. Any any kind of discussion is always something good. But bowl games are here to stay. And we are so excited um, here at this channel to be proudly talking about some of these bowl games. Now we're only talking about this first Saturday of bowl games this week. Um, next Saturday we'll talk about, you know, all of the big New Year's Six Bowls and all the New Year's Day Bowls and everything like that. Um, the most eight, the eight most interesting bowl games out there. Um, but these are a nice treat. Um, I'm the kind of guy that only watches college football on Saturday, so when I see bowl games on a Saturday, you know I'm in for a treat. Um, but this is in... But this is going to be split right down the middle with some FCS semifinal talk as well, uh, along with um, possibly, you know, some college basketball stuff as well. Um, I'll be keeping my eyes on things as, you know, CBS Sports has all the stuff related to the Final Four. So therefore, oh, I really only watch um, basketball games on CBS. Uh, there's an occasional time or two where I watch college basketball game on ESPN, um, as we all know. But for the most part, I keep up with the CBS sports coverage of, you know, college basketball. I mean, God, they're, they're the ones who have the NCAA tournament. Um, you can't really, you know, keep up with Bill Walton and Jay Billis and Dick Vitale every night. So um, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about these bowl games. So, <clears throat> on, well, actually, the bowl games start on Friday, December the 20th. What a, what a surprise. What a crazy thing. But neither of these games really interest me too much. Um, the Bahamas Bowl and the Frisco Bowl. Why there's a bowl game in Frisco, I have no idea. But those, don't, no, I don't care about those. This first Saturday of bowl games, I do care about these. Um. Some of these bowl games involve conference champions from the group of five. The group of five, and I put that in quotation marks uh, because we all know um, how college football treats lower schools uh, that do not have the access and the money and the recruiting and all that, all that powerful stuff that makes the power five the power five. But... Um, First off, the, to start that bowl Saturday is the Celebration Bowl, the fifth annual Celebration Bowl. I think the I think the HBCUs finally got it. They got it in their heads. Um, as a African American, you know, uh, try my hardest to support the HBCUs in, um, in any sort of fashion. But egos, politics, and all that other stuff keeps me away. So, keeps me away from fully, you know, embracing um, black college football. But I'm glad that the Celebration Bowl always kicks off the bowl season. And I'm glad we get to see this matchup again. Alcorn State taking on North Carolina A&T, the champions of the MEAC and the SWAC meetup in Atlanta to start off bowl Saturday, baby. And it's going to be a fun, fun game once again. I cannot wait um, for this game. It's going to be a fun Saturday, let me tell you. Uh, but there's already been some problems um, as far as, um, you know, uh, about the Celebration Bowl this year because Alcorn State's messed up, kind of messed up on their bowl ticket sales. Now, they're, now they have to do something a little bit different um, to, you know, get those tickets sold and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is, and it, it, I mean, you know, just is what it is. But these two teams have already met um, a couple times in the Celebration Bowl. They met last year. They met on the first one back in 2015, 
And, you know, this time, this time around, this time around, Khalil Carter uh, for a t he'll be leading the way. And, and you know, it's going to be a great, great time and for him. Great experience. And, of course, um, Felix Harper, he is leading Alcorn to this game. It's going to be a fun one. You know, lots of interesting storylines about players that have a lot of experience in this game and all that good stuff. Of course, you know the battle of the pants, too, but I care about the football. So, going to be a lot of blue and gold for a and but you better believe that that purple and gold will shine through as well. Um, so, that's the first game of the day that I'll be keeping my eye on. Second game of the day, also on ABC, is the 10-3 and Conference USA champion Lane Kiffin Little. Kiffin Liss, um, Florida Athletic Owls taking on the Ponies. The Ponies for SCU. Y'all remember the Ponies, right? We featured them as one of the one of the big games of the week on back in November. And it was it was a light slate that day. But Florida Atlantic coming in at 10 and 3. SMU coming in at 10 and 2. SMU, of course, led by Texas quarterback transfer, my boy Shane Bouchel. And of course, this game is going to be very, very interesting. Florida Atlantic's playing at home in the Boca Raton Bowl because the Boca Raton Bowl is at their stadium. So, and I believe, um, you know, it's kind of like this. It's kind of been this way for the past couple of years for the CUSA champion to go here to the Boca Raton Bowl. And, you know, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Both these teams can throw the rock, can throw the rock and all that good stuff. They can do lots of things to devastate the defenses, you know, with the air attack. And that's going to be a fun matchup. But then we got two games on the nightcap here. Uh, the Las Vegas Bowl, first off, Chris Peterson's last hurrah, last ride into the sunset as the Washington Huskies, 7-5, and five, had a dismal kind of year. Uh, and they take on the number 19 Mountain West Conference champion, Boise State Broncos, 12-1. and one. Man. Uh, I, I, what in the world? What, all the storylines center around Chris Peterson's final game. And there's going to be a lot that goes on. Uh, Jacob Eason, as we know, um, starting for Washington. I'm not sure if he's starting for the bowl game or not, but uh, he's, he's had an up and down year. Of course, Boise State's been mauled by injuries to their quarterbacks. Um, remember Hank Bachmeyer? I think he's injured um, right now, so I don't know who in the world is the starter for Boise State. We'll have to, I'll have to look it up sometime later after this video goes up. But this game is going to be great. I can already tell. And, you know, there's going to be a lot that goes on in this game, man. And finally, to wrap it up, um, at 9 o'clock, that's 8 o'clock for us Central Timers, um, it'll be the UAB Blazers who got blown out by by Florida Atlantic, taking on the number 20, 12-1, angry at their coach, um, Drinkwitz, who left to go to Missouri, the Appalachian State Mountaineers. They are the angry Sun Belt champions, but I believe they got a new guy already. This one's also going to be an interesting game. I don't know if um, I don't know if Appalachian State will run away with this though. Um, you know, I think UAB got caught off guard a couple weeks ago, but you know, it is what it is. I think that you know, I think that UAB may have something in this game. They may have something that can you know keep Appalachian State in check for a little bit. Um, but yeah, those are the four that I'll be keeping my eye on on this first bowl Saturday. Of course, there's plenty of other games, you know, throughout the throughout the that that that, 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 that from that Monday onward um, after the first Saturday. But and of course, Friday's the first day of the bowl game. But but 
you of course also on the same day there's the CBS Sports Classic. Um, you know, CBS has been doing this thing for a couple of years now with um, big time college basketball schools: Ohio State, UCLA, Kentucky, North Carolina. I'm not sure who the matchups are for this game is this year. Um, I'll have to look that up real quick because Ohio State is still undefeated right now. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, North Carolina's taking on UCLA. North Carolina's been struggling a little bit this year. Not sure about UCLA. Um, I believe they're, they're, they're kind of struggling a little bit, too. And, of course, Ohio State, Kentucky. That's going to be a great game. I think, um, I think this might be the last event for right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this will be renewed yet, but this will be the last CBS Sports Classic for right now, I believe, uh, as far as that goes. This game, these games also take place in Las Vegas um, on the same day. Wow, shocking, right? As um, so, Las Vegas is going to be busy. It's going to be a busy, busy day out in Las Vegas uh, for these matchups. These are going to be fun matchups, especially Ohio State, Kentucky. We'll see what Ohio State can do if they can last um, the rest of the week. They'll probably be the new number one uh, because multiple number one teams have lost in college basketball and everything like that. Um, finally here, um, I know there's some NFL on Saturday, but there's there's not really going to be a lot of storylines for those games at all. Um, but I'll talk about that. Tuesday, I believe, you know, once um, once the uh, NFL games are wrapped up for this week. Um, and finally, we'll just talk about the FCS semifinals. The final four, they are here. They are ready to go. And it's going to be two awesome, awesome games. I'm not sure yet, as of, as of the making of this video, which, which game will be on what network. But... Um, North Dakota State, you know who they are. Seven out of the last eight national championships, they won. Um, take on Montana State, who's finally back in the quarterfinals. They have been to the quarterfinals since 1984, which is when they won. It's when they won the FCS title, um, the only time they won it. And, of course, the other semifinal, number two, James Madison, number three, Weber State. Both these games, I believe, will have strong defenses like it was in the quarterfinals. Uh, but it, was all, it all comes down to who's coached better in both these games. And we'll find out who's going to the first go on January 11th on, well, next Saturday. So it's going to be a busy sports day for me next Saturday. And I'm excited. I am ready. Um everything's fine again the internet is back up so this video will be on your airwaves very very shortly and you can view it watch it do whatever you need to do bookmark it whatever all that good stuff um so what will you be doing on this, on this next saturday will you be watching some college basketball will you be watching some college football some bowl games or some playoff and some playoff matchups. What, what, what are you gonna do? Do you know? Do you know yet? If you don't, well, you better hurry up and find out. Are you gonna watch NFL? You, you, you can. Um, but ultimately, the Sunday will determine if I even pay attention to the NFL on that Saturday or not. But yeah. Um, not sure how my new roommate's gonna react to this, but uh, um, be making videos like this. But you know, it is what it is. Um, so that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. I'll take care. You know, um, to all to all thirty nine of you that subscribe to Big Boy Sports, you are the real MVPs. You made it. Um, I'm so happy to have some gracious internet back up so that I can get these videos out faster for you guys. So that's gonna do it. 
Y'all take care. We'll see what happens on the NFL this Sunday. See you guys on Tuesday.